front of our boats were all kind of like lined up. I thought we had a pretty good start uh, on the next one, but uh, I thought the pacing was good. Um, I think for the, again from the back, I'm basically pulling, I'm basically pushing the back. Uh, to me, the timing was fun. I'm basically pushing the
to run again. Galileo. Yeah, that was his reason. <laughs> different from different everyone's uh, different jobs different ages from different walks of life but you come together as one team for the purpose of you know paddling for racing and it's all different um, you know Chinese not Chinese and everybody works together for one goal and just part of the racing you're working together but also in the downtime like when you're waiting you're hanging out or when you travel to other countries together then you get to know each other better so it's definitely a strong team bonding and it's um, more popular I notice in all 
different countries where they used to only have some festivals, now it's all over the world. So it's great. So the origins of the dragon boat racing is a poet who is opposite of the emperor, but he wanted to show loyalty to his country of China. So he went out into the water and he committed suicide. Now the people wanted to show loyalty to him and they wanted to um, make sure that the fish in the water don't eat his body. So they wrapped the rice in lotus leaf, I believe, and they put it in the water so that the fish will have something to eat and they won't eat the poet's body so that he can remain and everybody remember to this day that we all celebrate the Dragon Festival but it's worldwide and it's all different days, not just in the month of May. coach is pretty hard ass so <laughs> he's like it's like I know you guys want to have fun but I want to win I'm like oh. yeah it's fun I mean it's like for me I look at it as a workout so it's like a break from my normal workout that I do and it's good because it really works out your core and it's, it's oh, we practice three times a week March on March on uh -huh. our season starts in March you just keep yeah you just keep practicing we have different um, competitions and so we just keep practicing all the way down the dinghy got Oh, those grand dragons still are killing them. That's okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on, kids. Is the grand dragon on that yeah. one? Go, Diesel. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Yeah, those grand dragons are going to take the king. You know what? Keep up with the You got to get to you. Diesel! Diesel! Oh, Diesel! This is a tight race. This is a really tight race. Really well. My name is Brenda White, and I'm with the San Francisco Dragon Heaters. We practice um, three days a week. Since February? Oh, February. Yeah, um, yeah we've been growing well. Yeah, we've, we've felt good as a team. 
Well, um, we're um, a corporate team for um, Kaiser Permanente in San Francisco, and um, a lot of us actually are in the healthcare industry. So, the Dragon Hughes, you could tell a whole lot more about that. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. I'm not, but I do work. I also work with. I'm a healer. I do work at Kaiser Permanente myself, and uh, along with Kathy, one of our coaches, and. Uh, uh, yeah, we're three times a week on Lake Merced in San Francisco. It's just an incredible, I, I'll have to say, it's just it's an incredible um, witness to, to the human spirit, you know. Uh, so many of these women have survived cancer and they just continue that fight uh, with something like this, where they're working together like this. It, it's an incredible, everything. It's spiritual, it's physical, it's all that energy you know, rolled into one big effort like that, and it's the most beautiful thing to see. It's an inspiration to me, actually. We're, we're, it's happening. Uh, let's just say it's really, it's growing, and it's growing very fast. International Dragon Boat Races, and several of the, uh, the breast cancer survivor teams, it was a beautiful thing to see there, too. It's happening, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Can I have your name? My name is Brennan, Brennan Preller. You come from? I'm with the San Francisco Dragon Healers in San Francisco, California. So, yeah. so is she a coach? Yeah. Her name? Uh, Kathy Britt. So you all the way come from uh, San Francisco? Correct. Uh, so, Go um, Life Scan! Life Scan! Woo! <laughs> so um, how do you come into this uh, training, become a coach? So there are two. Um, we started it about nine years ago and we saw it as a way to come together as a team, not just for dragon boating, but it also translates into our work teams at work. Understanding the concept of uh, giving up your ego to being part of the collective. We talk about um, just when you think you can't do any more, you just push yourself another inch and get hungry for the victory. Yeah, because you see, there are people who start and they've never done anything athletic in their lives, and all of a sudden they're racing, and they're winning. And these are people who were never athletic at all, until they became part of a team.
walk, get it. Well, um, we're from San Francisco Dragon Healers. We're actually um, a Kaiser Hospital that's in California. So there's, um, that I know of, there's like three main hospitals. There's one in San Francisco, there's one in Oakland, Alameda, and there's also one in LA. Um, so for us, um, it's um, the, predominantly it started off with employees um, that started off um, um, the team, uh, which is more Kathy and Ross. Um, Go oh, ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so, uh, so basically, it's a lot of employees from the hospital as well as friends and families of the team. So, um, so that's. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I, actually, I really enjoy sports. You know, I'm, I'm a competitive person, so uh, anything team-oriented, like whether it's softball, uh, basketball, or you know, Dragon Ball, Dragon Boat, as of recently, and I just uh, like it just because like um, it's something where uh, no one person can kind of re win the race for you. It's totally like team sport. So you have to have a, like a good team and be in sync to uh, compete and win. Uh, personally, I do. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, I may only know like maybe a couple of people on some of the breast cancer teams, but I think it's really a good cause because, uh, uh, from what I understand, they're all survivors of uh, of cancer, and I think it's it's um, it's inspiring, and I think it gets people more into um, knowing what the team is about and um, um, and probably raising money uh, for um, a good cause in terms of trying to uh, fight and beat uh, breast cancer. Thank you. Your name? Oh, my name is Stacy. Stacy Leon. Thank you. Okay.
Um, uh, well, breast in, the, uh, breast in the Ball is all about women that have been diagnosed with breast cancer, and we all live um, full and active lives. And we drag them both to have uh, fun and laughter, and uh, feel good, and get our keep our strength up. And it's uh, it's a good fun group, and we have a lot of socializing, and we also work hard paddling, and it keeps us fit. We all work out through the week, and then paddle twice a week. And it's just fun. Yes, yes, I think we all notice after we paddle for even one season that it, it, working out and paddling is good for your lungs, your, just for your whole well-being. And also the spirit? Yes. You have to be a breast cancer survivor. You have to have been diagnosed with breast cancer. That's it. Anything else. As long as your doctor says you can do it, you can come and join. And they, they can work. See our website is www.abreastofthevote.com. Thank you. And one more time. Your name? Can I have your name? Yes, it's Bunny Rossi.